Uh, Sport Club is in Lyon, uh, and we have the pleasure of uh, speaking to Joffi Lovern, uh, Asfeld Villerban uh, Center, and former center of uh, Partizan Belgrade, and multiple other successful teams as well, uh, and French national team, obviously. So, uh, thank you very much for speaking to, to Sport Club. Uh, I was thinking we uh, start from the obvious topic, uh, you being uh, uh, one of the most beloved foreign players to have ever played for for Partizan, so uh, how, how was it? The how, how were you first contacted by uh, Partizan uh, management? How did you decide to come to Belgrade? You know, I had the, 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 the opportunity and I didn't really think about it. You know, I was like, for sure, I need to go and uh, I need to I need to try. So uh, I was I have not been disappointed at all. It was okay. it was the best the best. Uh, the best thing uh, at this point of my career, you, 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 you can't expect anything else when you are a young player. Right, so what, what made it so memorable for you? Because you even have a partisan tattoo and you always uh, highlight how you were very yeah, proud sure. to have been a partisan player. Everything starts from, from there for me, you know. I mean, before I arrived there, I didn't do anything. And after partisan, everything goes so fast. So I had the, the chance and the opportunity to work and to compete as, at, at a really high level. And, um, and that's it. This is why I'm always thankful about Partizan, about the, 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 the people from, from the club and, uh, and the fans, you know, for the atmosphere and for the energy they gave me during, during those two seasons. And uh, no, it was, it was just amazing. Excellent. And uh, uh, so you were the first foreign captain in, in history of Partizan. Kevin Panther now is, is only the second. So how did you feel when you found out that you will be uh, leading the team as a captain? I didn't expect it, to be honest. Uh, I was surprised. But you know, I was really proud for sure. But I was like, OK, I will. I will do as good as possible, and uh, and that's it. I'm I'm always thinking this way, you know. I'm doing the best I can, and then and then let's see. But it's it's easy to take life this way. Great. And you uh, spend that time in Partizan with Coach Vujovic being your coach. So what was your relationship with him, and what what, what are your uh, opinion? What what made made him so successful on Partizan bench? Because he created one atmosphere, it was more than basketball, you know, it was like spirit about life, about everything. And, uh, you know, I can say that uh, it's helped me for basketball for sure, but it's also helped me as a person. I really feel like uh, I arrived there, I was a kid and I left, I was... A grown <laughs> man. Yeah, I was a grown man, exactly. So uh, it was uh, 10 years in two. Right, right. <laughs> it was, Really nice. Excellent. So uh, later you had uh, a successful career playing in the in the NBA. So uh, your uh, first season in Denver was also the first season of uh, the future MVP Nikola Jokic. So can you tell me what was your experience like coming to NBA and what how did Jokic look like as an NBA rookie? So. Uh about myself, uh, you know, it was a kid dream, like many kids. Uh, I was dreaming to play, uh, to play Partizan. I was dreaming to play Panathinaikos. I was dreaming to win Euroleague and to play in NBA, you know, so and to play national team, of course. So, um, so when when I when I arrived there, I was like, okay, it's really nice. Uh, it's really different, also. Uh, so I was a little bit surprised at the beginning especially going out from partisan you know it was completely different um, but it was really good experience i'm really proud and i reached you know the i reached my dream and um and uh about nicola you know when you arrive uh, uh, they say first season uh, they, we will work on his body he will not play this season but maybe next one and after four or five months, he was, he, he was already the best player of the team, you know, so <laughs> it was crazy quick. OK, the team was not as good as, as it is now, but still, you know, from, uh, from not playing, working on the body and uh, 
being the best the best player in the team a few months after it was it was ridiculous <laughs> right. right and you also later on in your NBA career you had the chance to play in San Antonio Spurs with coach Popovich another legendary coach so what is how is his way of working different than European coaches you know he 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 have the same team since so many years it was super easy for him I believe uh, he had all those guys who played together since I don't know five ten years or more he was just changing one piece and bringing another one but it was really slow once w w one guy a season you know and uh, so that was nice to see uh, it was also maybe a little bit harder for for uh, a new player to to arrive uh, in this team also because of that you know uh, but uh, it was great experience i play with many amazing player and uh, and uh, that was that was really cool also Great. And uh, coming back to uh, Europe, you were a member of a Fenerbahce uh, team under coach Obradovic. Uh, so uh, in what way would you describe him? What, what is the, uh, the impression he made on you? Patient. No, I just love it so much, you know. This is why I believe he cannot stop after so many titles. And um, no, that was also a good experience. Uh, second season the, the season stopped really early because of covid then in between the two season i have been injured eight months so uh, that was not the best uh, the best period of my life uh, but uh, about basketball was very really interesting for sure Right. And uh, uh, now in the in the last uh, two seasons or season and a half, you have had uh, problems with injuries. So again, yeah, again <laughs> unfortunately. So how is the recovery going and how are you satisfied with everything and how hard can it be when you have to watch the game from the... Yeah, back? it's hard. It's hard. It's also make even more beautiful the, the time you spend on the court. Um, so after Fenerbahce, I did the full season in... Uh, in Jalgiris, it was amazing too, to be honest. Uh, partisan in Jalgiris so far yeah, was... I read, I read while, uh, while uh, reading something on this interview that you said, apart from Partizan, this is the best basketball experience that I've had. Yeah, definitely. It was a great group of guys, great atmosphere. The first season was really amazing. The second was, was, was more complicated as a team and also for myself. I have been, uh, I had a uh, shoulder injury. So uh, I had a surgery, I missed four months of the season. But uh, I finished the season, I get back and uh, no, you know, it's, uh, you know, when you're out for, for, a long, for a long period, when you're back, you don't pay so much attention on many things, you know, like uh, the, the standing of the team, blah, blah, blah. You forget about everything. You, you just do, play. Exactly. You're just so happy to play it and you forget everything. And, um, and this season, uh, Oh, so we start on this project with uh, with Tony and uh, Nando. Um, great project, you know. They want to build a team and to increase uh, the quality every every year. So um, so it's a it's a it's a long term deal for me, three years. And um, unfortunately, I get injured and uh, I will most likely miss uh, all season. That's life. Uh, I'm already working hard to get back as strong as possible. And, uh, you know, I'm, my head is good. And I believe this is the most important thing when you want to recover. So uh, I have no doubt I will be back uh, <laughs> as soon as possible. Excellent. And what about French national team? So you, you've had uh, success with the, with the national team. Uh, so what are the, the plans for the future for the national team? And what do you think, how much can France do with this group of guys now? There are some amazing players. Yeah, I believe they can, they can win many things, but it's, it's the case since, since many years, you know, since, uh, I don't know, 2012. All the time we compete to, to, to get a medal. So um, we'll see, we'll see. And uh, there is always some new guys, you know, and uh, no, there is, it's friends, you know, there is many good basketball players. A lot of talent. Sure. And for the end, do you have any uh, message for, uh, for Serbian basketball fans and Partizan fans at your former club?
Thanks so much. Thank you.